Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the basic functions of Excel. There are two ways you can access Excel, either online by opening your browser and entering excel.new or by using the desktop application. The online version of Excel, known as Excel for the Web, is a cloud-based application accessible through your web browser. It offers many of the same features as the desktop version, allowing you to create, edit, and share spreadsheets from anywhere with an internet connection. If you already have work, you can open it from here. Next, let's open the desktop version. When we open an Excel spreadsheet, we are greeted with a grid of rectangles called cells. Cells are formed by the intersection of columns, which are labeled with letters A, B, C, and rows, which are labeled with numbers. A cell gets its name from the combination of its column letter and row number. The cell's name is displayed in the name box. It displays C4, indicating column C and row 4. This is cell A2. And here is the formula bar. You can enter data directly into a cell. For example, let me enter name of customers. When I press the enter key, the input is entered into cell B2. We can observe that the cell name extends beyond B2 to C2. However, when I place the cursor on C4, nothing appears in the formula bar. We can adjust the column width. Same as the row. We can use a line break to write text on the next line within the same cell. Position the cursor where you want the break, then hold down Alt key and press Enter. Everything is in cell B2. We can also change a cell name by going to the name box to rename the selected cell. Write the name and press Enter. In this case, we have to ensure that the new name is not an already existing cell name. Let's rename this cell too. Say age. When the cursor is placed on, the name shows up in the name box. Up here are the ribbons. Tabs includes home, insert, draw, page layout, formula, data, review, and others. Each ribbon has different functionality. For example, under the Home tab, you can find options like Bold, Cut, and Paste. We can Etalize, Underline, and apply a whole lot of other formatting style, change theme font, and even font size. Apply font color. Merge cells, align text, and fill color. The insert tab have functions like pivot table, table, illustrations. Here, we can insert any shape or image we want. There is page layout tab with its functions. The Formulas tab contains various functions and tools, like Financial Functions, Logical Statements, and the likes. It also includes the Name Manager, where you can manage names assigned to cells and tables. Here, these are the names we assign to those cells, we can delete them. The names are no longer there. 
The Data tab also contains many functions, including sorting, filtering, removing duplicates, performing what-if analysis, and more. Next is the View tab. We can remove grid lines, remove headings, and even remove the formula bar too. We can also collapse the ribbon by right-clicking any empty space and selecting Collapse the Ribbon. Here is the Quick Access Toolbar, where you can add and remove functions that you frequently use for easy access. The function we added just appeared at the top. To save this file, go to File and click on Save. We can also add other sheets and name them by going to the bottom left corner and clicking on the plus sign. Double click sheet the name and write your preferred name. You can add other sheets. At the bottom right corner is the zoom bar. We can zoom in and out. Let's move on to mathematical symbols. We will learn how to use these symbols in Excel. We have addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Note, all functions and formulas begin with the equal to sign. Anything we enter in the cell also show up in the formula bar. Example, 31 plus 23. Press the enter and result shows up. We can also reference cell's value and use the plus sign. Group A and group B, for example equal to the value in cell G3 plus the value in cell H3. We use the minus sign for subtraction. Value in cell G3 minus H3. The forward slash or simply the slash is used for division. Lastly, the asterisk is for multiplication. Now, let's explore some commonly used functions in Excel. The data here contains information on students' names, sex, and the scores they obtained in an exam. We will use these functions to extract useful information from the dataset. Suppose we are interested in obtaining the total score for the exam. One way is to manually add each cell value one after the other. Alternatively, we can use some of Excel's built-in functions to perform the same task. The sum function is here. Start with the equal sign, then type sum. As you begin typing, you'll notice that Excel automatically predicts the function you are looking for. Press the tab key to select the function.
Select the range of cells and close the bracket. Next is the average function. It calculates the arithmetic mean of a range of numbers. Select the range of cells and close the bracket. The count function is used to count the number of cells that contain numerical values within a specified range. We obtain 10, thus, 10 observation. If we change any of the cell values to non-numeric, the count result decreases. Thus, it only counts cells that contain numeric values. The count a function, on the other hand, counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. If we change any of the values to non-numeric, the count result changes, while counter result remains unchanged. Now, the min function. It is used to find the smallest value in a range of cells. Thus, the minimum score in the data is 62. Lastly, the max function. It is used to find the largest value in a range of cells. Ninety-six is the highest score. Next, we move to the concatenate function and the use of the ampersand symbol. Both can be used to join words together. In this example, we want to have both the first name and the surname written together. Let's begin with the concatenate function. Equal to concat. Select Michael, comma. We want to have a space between the names, hence, we use semicolon, space, then the semicolon again, then comma. The space between the semicolon ensures a space between two text, then Patricia. Close the bracket. Here is the result. Drag down to copy the formula to the other rows. Alternatively, we can use the ampersand symbol to achieve the same result. This is how it goes. Next, the trim function. Equal to trim. The trim function removes all extra spaces from a text string, leaving only single spaces between words and no leading or trailing spaces. Select cell Q5 and close bracket. Notice that the multiple spaces have been removed. We drag the formula down. All rows have one space between the name. Now, to the proper function. The proper function capitalizes the first letter of each word in a text string and converts all other letters to lowercase. Here is the result. We drag down. Unlike the trim, 
The proper function only capitalizes the first letter of each word in a text string and converts all other letters to lowercase. We can combine the trim and the proper function to achieve a perfect result. While the trim function is removing spaces, the proper function capitalizes the first letter of each word. Close the bracket for both the proper and trim functions. Now, we have amazing result by combining the trim and proper functions. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.